What first led you to take psi and the underlying mechanics of magic seriously as a series of scientific topics? What led me was curiosity. Mm. So if, if you're a child and you read Harry Potter, uh, it's of course the, the fantasy element of it is attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, children are adept at magical thinking. Mm -hmm. And so uh, some part of me has, n has never grown up like mm -hmm. Peter Pan. So I always wondered about uh, fairy tales and then later science fiction and then later stories about the mystic masters of the East and the West and magic and all of that. And while, of course, you go through an educational program, you realize, yeah, that's stories, there are elaborations, there are parables and so on. But part of me always wondered if any of that was true. And this partially comes out of an interest also in metaphor and, and in mythology, where stories are spun, and it's clearly a story, but the reason why people are attracted to the story is because it does have underlying truth. Mm -hmm. whether it's a, mytho a mythological story or something else. And so we kept having this thought, uh, could this be true? And so since I started a, a scientific uh, career path, I decided, well, I can do these experiments too. And so I started to do them and I learned that, oh, those things I've been reading about in parapsychology, some of that stuff is repeatable and I can see it myself. Mm -hmm. So that, that really was the hook that transitioned from, I wonder if, fill in the blank, to, oh, like this stuff you can actually see in your own laboratory under your own conditions. That's what convinced me. From what did you pivot in terms of what you did before getting into sci research 